Hey there, lovely souls. Welcome to my channel, Terilyn, where I teach you practical magic to help you make your day a little bit more magical. If that sounds like something you like, go ahead and hit subscribe so you never miss a video. Today, our focus is on all things fall, more specifically, fall foods. I'm gonna teach you the magical properties of the ingredients you probably already have in your kitchen. So without further ado, let's get started. So I couldn't start this video off without talking about pumpkins. It's such a classic fall staple. If you don't know, the tradition of carving pumpkins, also known today as jack-o'-lanterns, was used to ward off evil spirits. So keep that in mind when you go to carve your pumpkin this year. But pumpkins are so versatile when it comes to their magical properties. Because it's a root vegetable, they aid in grounding and stability. But pumpkins are also known as a symbol of fertility and growth, which makes them great when doing work with prosperity and abundance. And if you want to use pumpkin in a love spell, it can foster your growth and passion. Next up we have pumpkin spice and this has become a modern day fall staple. Not a lot of people know this but pumpkin spice doesn't actually have pumpkin in it. Pumpkin spice is actually the seasonings of pumpkin pie. But even without the pumpkin, the mixture of cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and ginger creates a potent magical punch. So let's talk about the individual components of this mixture and then we'll talk about pumpkin spice mix as a whole. So cinnamon is great for abundance, prosperity, and protection. But what some people don't know about abundance is that it also works as an amplifier similar to the crystal quartz so it enhances or intensifies the magic of the other properties around it so in this pumpkin spice mixture cinnamon is going to work as our amplifier to enhance the magical properties of the rest of the spices nutmeg is great for attracting prosperity abundance wealth luck, success. It is really the ingredient you want to use in all your financial spells and all your money spells. So it brings a lot of financial gains with its energy. Cloves have powerful protection properties and are used to banish negative energy. Ginger is great for inner work as it enhances personal power and strength. Now some pumpkin spice mixtures include allspice. This is great for healing. It also brings persistence and enhances personal power. And so when we combine the energy of these individual ingredients together, Pumpkin spice is really the one-stop shop to bring your manifestations to life. It can really give you the boost you need in life to achieve your manifestations and attract them to your life. Another thing you can do with pumpkin spice is sprinkle it around your house to aid in protection and bring good things to you. Next, let's talk about apples. Apples represent love, healing, and fertility. In many traditions, they're associated with goddesses, which links them to fertility and immortality. Apples can also be used to symbolize life and growth. And a lot of times apples are used in love work and healing work. And a fun fact about apples, if you cut them in half, it reveals a pentagram and you can carry this as a talisman of protection. Now this classic fall scent includes two ingredients that we've already talked about, apples and cinnamon. But together this combination is great for protection, abundance, and growth. Now we already discussed how cinnamon is an amplifier, so it's just going to intensify the magical properties of apple. Now this combination is great for so many different things, but I find it's best to grow relationships. That's because the cinnamon and apples bring this energy of protection, which creates stability, but it also enhances passion, which allows the relationship to grow and deeper connections and intimacy to be formed. Next, we have cranberries, which is represented by both fire and water, so it creates a self-regulatory balance. Cranberries are most well known for their healing properties, but they also bring regulation and balance into your life. They amplify emotional healing and aid in communication making them great for personal development. And in rituals, you can substitute wine or blood with cranberry juice. So next up, we have sweet potatoes. And sweet potatoes as a root vegetable are great for grounding, and they help bring balance and stability to your life when things feel uncertain. Because sweet potatoes have such a grounding energy, they are best used to aid in manifestations. And so this makes them a really great tool for prosperity and abundance spells. Sweet potatoes also enhance concentration and focus and they are great for grounding rituals. So let's talk about pecans. Pecans are great to attract money to you. They are great to attract success, prosperity, abundance, and so it's really important to use them in all your money spells because they are going to enhance the energy of wealth that you were trying to manifest. I call pecans the good luck charms because they're going to boost the energy of the spell they're in and attract success to it. Pecans are great to attract all sorts of success to your life and all wealth, but they are a amazing tools if you were specifically trying to manifest financial success. Pecans are a great offering 
to leave for deities, and they are also a great tool to substitute coins in rituals. So now you know these fall foods aren't only delicious, they are powerful tools for your magical practice. Let me know in the comments down below what ingredient you're most looking forward to working with. For me, it's pumpkin spice. And I want to say thank you for joining me today. If you want to learn more practical magic, be sure to subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And don't forget to like and share this video with others so they can see how easy it is to incorporate magic into their daily lives. I can't wait to see you all in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a very happy spooky season. Bye.